Hello students, welcome back to your geography class. I am Mrs. Jenny Shah and today we will learn about retreating monsoons. During October to November, apparent movement of sun towards the south starts and the monsoon trough or the low pressure trough over the northern plain becomes weak. This is gradually replaced by a high pressure system. The southwest monsoon winds weaken and they start withdrawing gradually. And so by the beginning of October, the monsoon withdraws completely from the northern plains. The month of October, November, they form a period of transition from hot rainy season to dry winter season. So basically this period is a transformation period and it's transforming from the hot rainy season to the dry winter season. The retreat of the monsoon is marked by clear skies and rise in the temperature. Day temperatures are high, nights are cool and pleasant. The land is still moist. Owing to the conditions of high pressure and humidity, the weather becomes oppressive during the day. This weather is commonly known as October heat. It starts in the second half of October and the mercury rapidly falls down in the northern India. The low pressure conditions over the northwestern India, they get transferred to the Bay of Bengal by early November. This shift is generally associated with the, with the occurrence of cyclonic depressions. These cyclonic depressions, they originate over the Andaman Sea. These cyclones, they generally cause, cross the eastern coast of India and they cause heavy and widespread rain. These tropical cyclones are very destructive. The thickly populated de deltas of Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri, they are frequently struck by such cyclones and they cause lots of damage to life and property. Sometimes these cyclones, they arrive at the coast of Odisha, West Bengal and Bangladesh. The bulk of rainfall of the Coromandel coast is derived from the depressions of the cyclones. So, it extends from October to November. Vertical sun rays, they start shifting towards the northern hemisphere. Low pressure region shifts from northern parts of India towards the south. And because of the high temperature and humidity, the weather becomes very oppressive and this is called as October heat. Parts of western coast in northeast India, they receive over 400 centimeters of rainfall annually. But it is less in the western Rajasthan. In the western Rajasthan and some parts of Gujarat, Haryana and Punjab, it, they get less than 60 centimeters of rainfall. Rainfall is equally low in the interior parts of the Deccan Plateau and also the east of Sahyadris. Why do these regions receive a low rainfall? A third area of low precipitation is around Leh in Jammu and Kashmir. The rest of the country receives moderate rain rainfall. Snowfall is restricted only to the Himalayan regions. Because of the nature of monsoons, annual rainfall is highly variable from year to year. It changes, it, there is no fixed uh, amount. It's a variable uh, change from year to year. And this variability is high in the regions of low rainfall, like parts of 
Rajasthan, Gujarat, and also the leeward side of the Western Ghats. And while the areas of high rainfall are liable to be affected by floods, areas of low rainfall they face drought. So both the areas they you know face some or the other problems depending on which side or how much rainfall they are receiving. This is a map of the distribution of rainfall. You can see the legend. The grey areas are more than 200. The blue checks are 100 to 200. The red ones is 50 to 100. And the yellow checks are less than 50. We had done map work and you know in map work we have 400 and we have less than 50. Spring is another season. Fall is another season. Spring is when the sun shines more and the day begins to get warmer. It is the time when baby animals are normally born. And it is also a time when plants and trees wake up after long winter naps. They shower warmth to earth and they moisten the soil which helps new plants to grow. Fall is when the leaves change to yellow, orange and then red. Picking fruit and vegetables is fun and animals get ready for winter during this season. Monsoon as a unifying bond. You know that Himalayas protect our subcontinent, India, from extremely cold winds from the Central Asia. This enables North India to have uniformly high temperatures when compared to other areas on the same latitude. Similarly, the peninsular plateau, under the influence of the sea from three sides, has moderate temperatures. Despite such moderating influences, there are great variations in the temperature conditions. The unifying influence of the monsoon on the Indian subcontinent is quite perceptible. The seasonal alternation of the wind system and the associated weather conditions they provide a rhythmic cycle of seasons. Even the uncertainties of the rain and the uneven distribution of rainfall helps. Uh, they are very typical of the monsoon. The Indian landscape, its animal and plant life, its entire agricultural calendar, and life of people, including their festivities, this revolves around this phenomena. Year after year, people from India, from north to south, and from east to west, they wait eagerly for the arrival of monsoons. The monsoon winds, they bind the whole country by providing water to set and agricultural activities in motion. The river valleys which carry this water also unite as a single as a single river valley unit. So this is why monsoon is a unifying bond. Now what I want you to do is I want you to one minute. I want you to find out any articles in the paper of uh, this week or probably last month okay don't uh, not i don't want this activity to pan for next week so this week or last week if you find any article related to weather 
and the changes of the climatic conditions. I want you to cut it and stick it in your notebooks. Okay, children. So this will be your last activity for this chapter. With this, children, I end today's class. Stay home, stay safe, take care, keep learning. We've completed the chapter, so go through it and revise it. Do the question and answers at the end of the chapter. Mark the answers down in your textbooks. We shall do a revision next week. Okay, with this, children, I end today's class. Stay home, stay safe, take care, keep learning. Thank you.